Welcome to the iClarify tutorial on how to upgrade the RAM in your 2009 Mac Mini. To perform these steps, you will need a putty knife and a number 00 Phillips screwdriver. Let's begin. Unplug the Mac Mini and place it upside down on a static free work surface. Insert the putty knife between the upper and lower case and work your way around while prying outward. You will hear a series of pops as the clips that hold the cover in place detach. Once all the clips have been loosened, you can flip over the Mac Mini and pull the top cover off. Inside the cover, you will see three antennas labeled with orange stickers. There is one at the top left, bottom left, and top right of the device. Remove the top left antenna by gently pulling up and setting it to the side. Remove the spring under it and place it to the side as well. Do the same for the bottom left antenna. To remove the top right antenna, you must squeeze the clip under it, then pull up on the antenna to release it. Don't forget to remove its spring as well. Gently disconnect the ribbon cable from the back of the disc assembly. The connection is located at the top left of the component. Next, we will remove the four screws holding the disc drive assembly in place. There is one screw at each corner of the device. Please note, the bottom right screw is slightly longer than the rest. Set the screws aside, then lift up the disc assembly to remove it. Turn the disc assembly upside down and remove the four screws holding the hard drive in place. Gently remove the temperature sensor that is taped and glued onto the drive. You can then slide the disk drive forward to unplug it from the SATA and power connectors. Remove the anti-static cushions from the old drive and affix them to the new drive in the same location. Next, place the new drive into the assembly and slide it onto the SATA and power connectors. Gently reattach the temperature sensor to the new hard drive. Finally, replace the four screws that hold the hard drive in place. Once you have installed the new memory, you can set the disk assembly back in place. Reattach the ribbon cable to the back of the disk assembly at the top left of the component. Replace the screws you removed earlier from each corner. Remember the slightly longer one goes at the bottom right. Place the three springs on top of the antenna post at the bottom left 
top left and top right of the device. Next, put the antennas back in place on top of their post. Remember to squeeze the clip on the top right post when putting the antenna back in place. Put the top cover onto the bottom of the Mac Mini and press down to reattach the clips. Now you've successfully replaced the RAM in your 2009 Mac Mini.